CIML teams dominated day one of Girl State basketball. Back for day two and more metro area flexing possible. Let's bring in Mark Freund. Not the CIML, but Mark, the metro area is still well represented in Class 4A. Yeah, Keith. Uh, and just like in class 5A, we've got three teams that are all veteran and have state tournament experience. The top two seeds in particular, those being Dallas Center Grimes and North Polk, for, they particularly stand out. Between them, a combined 41-5 and five record on the season. That's impressive. Let's show you the two seed, North Polk. They started their tournament by making a statement in the quarterfinals against Clear Creek Amana. Michaela Boatman was on a tear. Pull up jumper good. Comet's already up 15. Later, Boatman for three, drills it. Boatman scores 16 in the first quarter, 21 in the game. Later, Abby Tuttle to the rack, spins it up and in. Comet's up 18 after one. And in the second quarter, Liza Schaefer with the rebound and the putback. Schaefer also scores 21. North Polk's lead got as big as 35 points. The Comets advance easily 61 to 30. It felt really, really good to just come out like that. Um, obviously then they started guarding a little tighter, so it just opens stuff up for other girls. And they, um, like Liza, she really, really stepped up into that position, so it's good. You know, it was so fun. I think we came out in the first quarter and we just got after it. It feels amazing. You know, you can't take it for granted because these things don't happen a lot. So we just were really trying to have fun with it. We did, we won the game that we needed to win and we're just gonna keep playing our game and hopefully keep winning and yeah. And there you go. Let's go to the top seed in uh, DCG facing eighth seeded Glenwood. An early flurry by the Mustangs. Three from Finley Fitzgerald. Follow that up with a three from Josie Lampy, and the Mustangs scored the first eight points of the game. Second quarter, Emma Miner put back in the foul. DCG up 27-17 at the half. Second half, all Mustangs. Fitzgerald cutting to the rim. She leads all scorers with 17. Miner will add one more layup, and Dallas Center Grimes is on to the 4A semifinals with a 57-39 win over Glenwood. Our team's energy on the bench and everyone contributed and it was just a great game. We just want to win the next game. Uh, we've always talked about, you know, playing one game at a time. So we've been focused on Glenwood for the past week, but we're just going one game at a time, you know, one and out. A couple of teams that looked really good in the quarterfinals. DCG has another tough test coming up in the semifinals. Keith, let's go back to you for those highlights. Mark, let's do it. Ballard Bombers, the four seed, rallying against fifth seeded Decora. Bombers overcome a slow start. Lily Hillebrand with a three to beat the first quarter buzzer. 12 for Hillebrand. Big run in the second quarter. Fast break. Leah Thompson, two of her 12, and the Bombers come back to tie it at the half. 23 all. Bombers use that momentum in the third quarter. Kylie Calvert with a big three. And then it's Reagan Levy, the give and go. Levy scores 17 off the bench. Ballard bench outscores Decor's bench 25-2. That's the difference. Bombers to the 4A semifinals, 58-44. Um, it felt good to really help out the team in this game and all of my points were because of my teammates and I wouldn't have been able to do it without them. We love to win here. I mean, that's always, we don't come here just to, you know, have the benefits of coming here and, you know, just like all the swag. We come here to win and I feel like we really prove that every year that we don't come here just to play, we come here to win. One three, a game left to take care of. West Marshall trailing Sioux Center by 21 at the half. Trojans trying to shoot their way back into it. Keaton Fance with three of her team by 18. And it's Bella Borgos with a step back to beat the shot clock, but six seeded Sioux Center. Just too much in this game. They upset West Marshall 79 53. Caitlin Clark is the Big Ten Player of the Year. No surprise there.